if you've just suggested that you are one of the local councillors, do you feel that you've lived up to that responsibility? Well, basically, it's basically we. Every time we see rubbish, we have to report it to Birmingham City Council. And now it's unfortunately we have a coalition, Lib Dems and Tories. Now, if they're not going to send out their workforce to pick up this area, if they're going to just not give respect to this area and give respect to all areas like Hall Green, Solly Hall, um, Small Eve, people, if you go down those streets, they're really nice and clean. So, how do you think you can make a difference? Well, basically, these resident associations that have been set up now, working with them making sure there's a lot of noise made and hopefully they will listen because residents association is the power for any councillor. Is, uh, is environment your, your number one priority or are there other issues that you need to contend with too? Well, anti-social behaviour, environment and we need youth services as well. We're back in the area because at the moment youth services has had a cutback and we have nothing at the moment for our young people so we need our young people to burn off some energy somewhere. Thank you very much. No problem. Sorry, do you have your response? On the youth services point, yeah. Yes, go on. <laughs> uh, we have the uh, candidate for, for, uh, for Conservatives. Yes, yeah. And she's going, to, she's going to respond to Councillor Ishjak's yeah. comments. Yeah, one thing candidate you mentioned... Is, candidate Ishjak, yeah. <laughs> Um, one of the things he mentioned was youth services and that's something that's very close to my heart because I have a background in youth issues and I used to be a member of the youth parliament so that's something that's really really close to my heart and I met a, um, a youth group yesterday in Sparkbrook and it's, all, it's like Which a social one? enterprise it's only starting, it's a new project it's on Stratford Road next to the um, Opus. Okay, and their objectives are? And, and they said committed. that they had approached but the ward okay. and the ward had refused to give them any funding and had blamed it on the council, even though he knows that the ward does have some funding so, and could potentially okay. allocate funds. Okay, so this is about moving forward this now. This is Instead about of looking moving back, forward. Let's talk Absolutely. about moving forward. Absolutely, it's about moving forward. And um, what they wanted, though, was just some support and they didn't want to play the blame game. And they thought that the, a lot of the problems we have in Sparkbrook is because our young people are not engaged in the community. They're not engaged in the democratic process. They don't have a feeling of um, connection to the area, and that's really important. And, and that's what he was saying. My project, we don't want funding. What we want is support from the councillor. Okay, do, let's allow cash. To engage with young people. Let's more. allow. Really let's allow candidate Ischak to respond to that very quickly, please. It's nice for the Tories to come here and say, basically, you know, we want to do this and you're going to be doing this. Yet the Tories are the ones who did the cutback. Youth services have had a massive cutback because of the Tory, Tory-led council. Now we had we had NRF that's gone. We've got all we have is hundred thousand pounds to spend in the whole ward. Yes, that's thanks Before to the Tories. Before the cutbacks, we had the same issues in Birmingham, the same issues in Sparkbrook with our young people. That means before the cutbacks, the money was still not being spent re responsibly. But the cutbacks don't help, do they? The cutbacks don't help, do they? Well, it's about um, having social enterprises that are self-funding. If the current economy doesn't allow for loads of money to be spent out of nowhere. That's the reality, unless we believe in increasing taxes, which, by the way, Respect and Labour Party both agree with. When Labour controlled the council, council tax was increasing by 6% every year. If you think that's OK, and people don't mind, then yeah, perhaps we can go towards that. But I think that 6% increase in council tax everywhere, every year, a direct burden on families, is not reasonable. Papa Road, I received a leaflet from your thing, and uh, I was quite, uh, oh, kind of confused. How can you put a freeze or is it a stop to petrol prices when the Prime Minister can't even do that? Sorry, well, before, before, before we ask, answer the question, can you just tell us who you are, please? Uh, my name's Nasser. I'm a resident of Papa Road. I'm also a treasurer of Friends of Papa Road, the resident nice group here. Uh, nice to meet you. Thank you. Can you explain that? I mean, do you think the people of Sparkbrook are stupid? No, I don't think that. I mean, how can you make a promise of putting a stop or freeze to petrol prices <laughs> when the Prime Minister is having problems doing that? How can you do that? No, absolutely. The Prime Minister is having a problem doing that. George Voss Osborne did say in his speech that it's something they are prioritising. But that's a national what issue, I would not do, a local it's issue. It's a national issue, issue so but how it's has, affecting how, local how, businesses. How is you, how is you a candidate? Are, are, are you, how are you going to do that? Because I I'm thought gonna, what, the, the local issues are environment, you know, ASB as, as well, stuff like that. But this petrol, this petrol, answer, okay, I'd like it, okay, sorry, answer that one. How are you going to do that? Petrol issues yes. are affecting local businesses heavily. Local businesses create wealth for the local area. They know, are going to employ petrol, those young you people that it? go and commit as well. How are you going to stop the petrol? How am I going to do yes, it? How? I'm going to campaign for it. I'm going to ensure that it's on the priority of the council. 
I'm going to ensure that How's the it? council, when they are okay. communicating with the government, they're not just saying, oh, cuts this, cuts that. They're actually getting something done. I'm going to move away from the blame game of it's his fault, it's her fault, and actually take responsibility on myself to do something for the local well, residents. Nasser, we, have, we have another uh, member of the community here wanting to ask some questions. I think of both candidates. It's not fair that we only get, uh, we only have one candidate asking. I'm no asking. candidate. You're, not, you're <laughs> a member of the public. Who, who are you, sir? What's my name? I'm, I'm living here on Primrose Avenue. Okay, and what was your question to the candidates? Well, l l uh, yeah. Well, like I said, I mean, I've uh, I've been continuously phoning the council uh, 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 about the rubbish you can uh, see in uh, in the in, in the back of the uh, alleyway, yeah. and, uh, and, and you've had no response. Uh, uh, yes, I had uh, I had a response, uh, and the uh, the, res uh, the response uh, was uh, they asked me wh uh, they asked me whether uh, whether there were street lights, and I said no, there are no street lights. And, and the response w was, uh, well, if there are no street li lights, it's none of our business. Uh, and, uh. Oh, I see. I think it's because it's a private land and private areas. Actually, are it's not. It's not a private land. It's Is actually it no, it's public land? highway and it's maintained by well, the public. Well, if you give me details of your number and I can contact them on your behalf and find out what we can do about yeah, that. Yeah, fine. Thank forward. you. So, if you please give me your number. Yeah, no problem. No, no, I'd be happy to that. do that. But just in principle, I think that the, the point being made is why? Mm. Why are we having to? Why are we getting to the point where the only time we're seeing a response from the authority and from the services is when you're here yeah. and the, the, the gentleman, the member of the public who pays his taxes, who's committed to Actually, the environment, well, well, who's keen to, to have a clean environment. The issue is, not is having, I'm not, I'm not, not, a, I'm not an elected councillor, okay. yes? Yeah. Bear that in mind, please. I'm not an elected councillor. I've not really, yeah. um, I mean, everyone here is treating me like I've been an elected official. I'm not. If you have issues, the main issues, you should be going through your ward and councillors. But of course, I'm happy well, to like deal with that, yours I, I, either way. I, 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 I rang up the Birmingham City Council. What, what, you what, should, what, what you should do is go through your councillor. Your councillor is responsible for every local issue you have and every oh, issue you have councillors. with the councillor. Candidate, candidate Absolutely, Sarah you don't see councillors. Where are they? Candidate Sarah has committed herself to helping you in this cause. Can I ask who is who is who are you, sir? Adil Rashid. And, and who do you Liberal represent? Democrats. Okay, so can you tell us a little bit about yourself and um, what you're doing here? Well, obviously I'm one of the candidates. I've okay. been living in Sparkbrook over thirty years okay. and I'm part of the community of Sparkbrook. Right, so what's what's your priority for this area? Well, Taking Spark Brook out of deprivation for us. So. And how do you think you're going to do that? Well, it's by not electing Labour councillors. So if we don't elect Labour, we'll, we'll take the organise the department. The provided, provided, deprivation. provided we work for it. Uh, because I mean, we've had Labour rule there for so long. It's always been a deprived area. So how will, how will how will a new or a different coalition take us out of deprivation? What exactly will you be doing? Mm -hmm. Well, well, if you if you've got a local resident, are you both of the same party? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're in coalition. No, but I agree a lot. You know, and that's really important. Rather than playing the blame game, we should be working together as sure, so as, as, as people who genuinely care. Allow, <laughs> yeah, I was just saying that uh, if uh, if you've got a local resident elected. Somebody you can see on a day-to-day -day basis and not run away and never to be seen like some of Labour councillors. Well, no, it's not all about Labour. Yeah. We've had respect councillors, they're local. I mean, uh, yeah, you, 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 you did, did answer the question, you asked me, what are you going to do? What am I going to do? Yeah, how are you going to make Sparkle better? Answer that question. Well, if everybody's willing to work with me, like we're working yeah, but what today. Are you say, everyone, okay, what are you going to do? Well, it's not a one-man job. Fine, I'll be elected. Yo, I'm going to elect you as my councillor. I expect you to do something for me. What are you going to do? What do you expect me to do for what you? What do you think I want you? You should I don't know what the know. people want. You could want. have a different issue. You, you should know what the people want. You tell me. Exactly, I'm asking you. What do you Environment, want? go on. What are you going to do different? <coughs> well, we should have this. You're not going to every day people. walk up the streets, are you? Who what are you going to do, do different? Do? What, no, I why do. Are you gonna I'm do not different? elected. I live here. I walk up the streets I, every if day. If I elect you as a councillor, what are you going to do different? Answer that question. Different? Yes. Well, first of all, I'll pick up your phones when you ring me and ask you what your problem is and not ignore. Right. Secondly, I'll hold surgeries. <laughs> Thirdly, I'll knock on people's doors every so often to ask is there anything I could help you with and to know, to let you know where I live and how to get hold of me. And then after that, one hundred at a time, I'm willing to help people at Sparkbrook <coughs> with different issues. You're right, we've had respect, we've had labour. Why were anybody to be seen? We need to uh, make some sort of arrangement, at least to 
Bring awareness to the uh, to the people who are making these uh, flying chips or these uh, creating rubbish in here to keep it clean. But so far, we are keep uh, we are keep telephoning the council office, the responsible people, the engineers or the environment people, and they are giving the sweet talks on the phone, but in fact, nothing happening. No action is taken. The other things we have is not building there. They cannot do anything without building. It's lying down there empty for two years. All the rubbish, all that cloth people bring, if it's not goes in... Who if owns it, the building? Uh, he, he's, he's, and and it's, uh, it's, it's rented to these people, I think. Yeah, yeah. And they are doing nothing to it. And it's bring a lot of rubbish and young people come at night time mm -hmm. or day times and s mm -hmm. having a... Well, I, I frankly believe, I don't think that, that all the organisations in the community have been working effectively enough together for the last I don't know, seven years. Also, I, I don't find it that surprising that when you phone up um, fleet and environmental waste, you are given a very correct, I imagine, very professional service, but actually in terms of Thank delivering, you. that's not happening. This is a Tory Lib Dem council who's been making cuts across the board and until actually Labour returns to power in Birmingham, you won't see that investment in environmental services, fleet and waste management. You won't see it. Um, there needs to be better containers for residents in these streets, especially the people of Sparkbrook. I mean, like nowhere else in the city, these are, these are households often with ten children in them. They want to recycle. It's a very big Islamic value, recycling. If you have ten children, each drinking a pint of milk a day in plastic bottles, and you have a rubbish recycling, recycling collection for plastic bottles twice a week. Think of how many bottles you're going to have to fit into one, just one of those small containers that Birmingham City Council provides. The people of Sparkbrook need effective and correctly sized waste containers and I have no doubt that they'll be able to manage their own rubbish. But who can we complain to? I mean, the you need to change the council oh, since, with since, every community organisation working effectively together yeah. and that means everyone, not just your councillors, every community organisation and every individual within it pooling together for the interests of that community. Uh, this is my... Uh, I, I'm, I'm delighted but I really have uh, to go. Okay, I did have I'm an just, appointment I'm, at two o'clock. I'm the... Um, what's it called? We, we created a... The uh, Residents Association. A resident Association. Good, brilliant. He's my secretary. We keep. He's the man Brilliant. who keep ringing. Yeah. Keep ringing. Try to invite people mm -hmm. the, 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 well, the local to work to work together with them. And nobody is bothering for this area at all. The, the youth people. The, there is no facilities for the youth. This man is working day and night voluntarily. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Nobody bother for the sure. youth of this area. Oh well, Nobody Tory Lib Dem councillor slash people. youth services across Birmingham. I totally agree with you. Really nice to meet you, but I do have to go. Okay. Victoria, can you just tell us who you are for the, uh, for the camera, please? I'm Victoria Quinn. I'm the Labour Party candidate for Sparkbrook. Thank, Thank you. Sparkbrook Neighbourhood Forum invites you to family fun. Sparkbrook in unity from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Sunday, 30th October at Farm Park, Sparkbrook, Birmingham. For more information, call 0121 772 1224.